Hey everybody, this is Big T Davis. Welcome to Bubba Bass Anglers Retail Therapy. <laughs> so, you know, I've been curious for a long time about Timu. I keep seeing the ads, I keep seeing good deals. So I decided to throw some money at the place because they have a fantastic selection of weird and crazy fishing gear. Okay, I want to start off with this combo that I bought. All right, so this is a five three to one reel. And this this rod, as you can see, is only the bottom half of it. They only ship, they only do uh, two and three part, three piece rods because they got to ship it and they don't feel like paying for shipping containers. I'll, I'll get more in, into that in a minute. But this is a five three to one aluminum spinning reel. I mean, it's super high quality. And this rod, look at this spinning rod. I mean, look at some of the details in there, right? So the rod cost 28 bucks, and I think the reel was like 11 bucks. $11 reel. Instant combo for under 40 bucks, right? So I said, hey, I'll get some of this stuff, and then I'll take it out and use it and make some videos. So there's that. So they ship their stuff in bags. The, the, the few things I've got from them, they just come in bags. So here's what my reel box looked like <laughs> for the spinning reel. And I got another reel. I got a casting reel. So here's, here's the casting reel. This is the box, all crushed and stuff. And I don't really mind. Uh, I don't know how much I paid for the casting reel, but <clears throat> this is it. I'm gonna open this. I haven't opened the casting reel yet. But I mean, it's a reel, so it's not like it's gonna break or anything unless it's plastic. So this is a casting reel I got. I needed a casting reel for my travel rod. So look at this thing, will you? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all like silvery, titanium looking. It's just aluminum, but I mean, it looks badass, right? This is a Mattel Masters reel. And it's got uh, a little braking system on there. A really cool uh, uh, handle. Um, it's ju it's just cool looking. I, I have no idea. Let's see what's the ratio. Five plus one bearing, and I don't know what the ratio is on this. I don't think it's a very high ratio. It, this is six three to one ratio. I mean, look at this reel. And I know I didn't spend more than twenty dollars on that reel. And, and you could argue this quality against other reels, and I'll know for sure once I take it out and test it out, but I mean, that's not a bad deal considering how much I paid for it, right? Okay, so now for some of the crazy lures. So you know the Spro rat. So there's a rat I got. <laughs> I mean, it's super cheap compared to the Spro version, but I only paid a couple dollars for that, right? So there's your standard gray rat with the pink tail. Then I got this. This is a Huddleston knockoff of a rainbow trout. Seven, 7.5 inches. Look at this thing. All right. That's pretty nice quality. It's got some decent hooks. All right. I mean, it looks just like a Huddleston. I'll play with that this season. Some other weird stuff. So this thing right here is a topwater lure. I should have opened a lot of this stuff because it's got tape and everything on it. This is a topwater lure and it kind of looks like a cicada, but then again, it doesn't. And it's got these, look at this thing. It's got these like riverboat things on the side. So it'll make, it'll make a uh, splash in the water. Okay. <laughs> I just, it's got two treble hooks. It's the weirdest looking thing. And it's a topwater lure. Why not? It was only like 75 cents or whatever I paid. Okay, so here's another one. This actually looked bigger when I ordered it, but, and I'm disappointed that it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But I'm still going to test it out. Who knows? Maybe I can catch a couple eight inch bass. You know, MAKB has an eight inch limit. And this is a, I guess you can call it a wake bait. 
it's a wake bait cricket with a little square bill in the front. <laughs> so it's like a little crankbait, but I think it floats. So it's more like a wake bait or a floating crankbait and it's a cricket. Who knows? Now these things right here are amazing. So I've never seen anything like this yet. Only in China can you find stuff like this. Okay, I don't even know what to call this. I, I guess this is kind of like a blade bait, but not. So it's got a single feathered treble in the back and it's got a spinner. I, I've never seen anything like it. it. It's super thin in the middle and then it's got a, a thick head. I don't know. I'm going to throw it out there and see what it does. Okay. And I got a whole set of five, five of these. Okay. I don't know. Um, let's see. I think this is more rats because who doesn't want rats, right? Only problem with these rats is they're just a little bit smaller than the name brand that I wanted. So, these, these are a little bit better quality than the other one I opened, just a little bit. But I mean, it's just saying, it's this pro, it's a knockoff. But again, these are only like six or seven dollars for, for a three pack. Okay, so this is a straight up <coughs> knockoff of the G-Crack Gills Bellow. So I got a pack of these, again, only a couple dollars. <laughs> I just said, whatever because I want to do some challenges. I want to do some things with these Timu baits. And I'm thinking about doing, uh, I'm going to do a tournament using just Timu baits and a Timu fishing rod <laughs> just to see what happens, you know? Uh, let's see, this is the Lush Hazer. <laughs> Lush Hazer. So this is a drop shot bait, I think. It's either drop shot or Ned Rig. And they put some funk on their baits too, boy. Whew. Oh boy. So yeah, this is, this is a little drop shot bait. Okay. So I'll mess around with those. I'll probably use those this weekend. What else do we have? We have, oh, this one is a fishing lure bait. And it's a tiny little tadpole looking thing. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to rig this up yet, but I mean, look at this thing. It's a little tadpole looking creature, you know, again, a couple bucks. And, um, I guess you could put this on a Ned rig or even a drop shot or something like that. So I'll, I'll screw around with those. What else do we have here? Do we have anything else? Oh, so this duck, I love these ducks. And again, this is something I thought was a lot bigger when I saw it on the website. Unfortunately, it's tiny, but I'm still gonna, still gonna give it a, a shot. Can't get it out of here. There we go. So this, this is a little duck, okay. And it's got a square bill and two trebles. So it's like a wake bait. It's top water. So it's a wake bait. So I'll, I'll screw around with that. I, I'd love to see if I could just catch one fish on all this stuff. And I think that's it for my Timu haul. Some of the stuff like the G-Crack knockoffs aren't too bad. Uh, the rod and reel, like this, re this rod is almost eight feet. It's like 7'10". And it's, I think it's four pieces. I mean, it's, it's seriously, look at that for 28 bucks. Are you kidding me? And then the reel was only 11 bucks. And then this one right here, look at that. I mean, if you're an angler on a budget, 
hit up Timu and get yourself rigged for the 2024 season. I'll see you on the next video. I'll put a bunch of links with prices in the uh, description. I don't even think I'm gonna do links. I'm just gonna put the prices. It's not like I'm gonna affiliate with Timu, but uh, so you can check this stuff out for yourself. Don't be afraid to use the Timu app. Uh, I've done a full scan on my phone. There's no malware. And I also use Google Pay. So everything is hidden. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that because I was afraid to use Timu for the longest time. But it's actually not too bad. And it's fun to use. It's like, it's like a video game. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.